All right, so to access the simulator, essentially, um, you know, you're gonna walk into the room and the systems are gonna be set up as if you were gonna start a case. So you're gonna have to, you know, turn some things over so you could just access the simulator by itself. Um, so you can come in here because I'm gonna show you some of these cords that we're gonna have to change out. Um, these are the blue fiber optic cables that interconnect all the systems. What you're gonna have to do is change out some of these cords that are from the system to now to switch out to the simulator. So this little short, you know, four foot, three foot cord from the simulator is what we're gonna connect now to um, the surgeon console. So what you're gonna wanna do is first unplug the blue fiber optic cable from the surgeon console and all you have to do is pull back on these blue tabs right here um, or you could twist it. Don't yank it out. Um, you could break damage these really easily. These are $2,500 a piece. You don't want to break these. My suggestion when you do take this out, you could put this cap right back on it. All you need to do is realign the, the red lines and it'll click back on. Again, to disengage this cord, you could either pull right down and it'll pop off or you could twist and it'll come off. And so now that this is off, we're gonna wanna connect the simulator to the surgeon console. So again, taking the cap off and I am aligning these right here. Sticking it in, aligning the red lines, and you'll hear a click. Don't force it in, don't push it in too hard. Those are now connected. Now, we're gonna turn the surgeon console on, the simulator on. There's a power switch right here. If you wanna come around here, you'll see this power switch. That'll turn the simulator on. And you know that this is turning on because this top light up here should turn on within a few seconds. It'll start blinking. Yep. And as soon as you see that turn on, we can do one of two things. You can click this power button or the power button on the surgeon console. My suggestion is just to do this one. Now here's something that you need to remember that's very important. As this is turning on, do not stick your head in the surgeon console. There's sensors on the side. Um, for whatever reason, it's extremely sensitive to the boot up process and wall, um, you know, the simulator is booting up um, to not stick your head in. A lot of times if you do, you'll get an error message. You could stand back here and kind of see, um, even if you want to come over here, you could see the, um, you know, the screen's loading. You don't want to stick your head in until the main um, screen pops up. So um, the arms are going through a system check. You got to just give it a few seconds. You, you know, if you stick your face in, it'll say no signal. And then as soon as this pops up, which is the main menu, that's when you can stick your head in. Um, you know, the top right, it will be your username. And then right below that will be the four digit pin code that you use to set up your simulator. And then you're good to go. Um, so now what I'm going to show you really quickly is the boot down process because if you just leave the system this way, um, when they come in to do cases, the system won't be set up properly. The system set up for the simulator now, we want it to be set up to run through cases. So what you're gonna wanna do is power off the simulator. Correct, you're hitting this top power button. You're then going to want to flip the power button off. And then we're just going to reconnect this cord, this blue fiber optic cord from the, uh, from the robot. You're disconnecting the simulator. Again, my suggestion is when you take these off, connect those just so those don't get damaged. We're putting this blue fiber optic cord back in and that's it. Now the system's ready for a kiss. Common errors. Um, 